good morning students so today we will discuss the first unit test paper with you all okay so the total marks of the paper was 20 and the time was 45 minutes question number 1a to 10b it means question number 1 to 10 was carrying half marks each whereas question number 11 to 20 was carrying one mark each so the first question was the conversion of gas to solid state on cooling is known as which answer is correct that is gas to solid it means it is escaping the state of liquid it is escaping the state of liquid so that is why the answer 3 option 3 is the correct answer that is uh, deposition okay then the next question was matter has mass it occupies the space and it can be perceived by our senses and fourth is all so matter has all these three above mentioned property so that is why answer option four is the correct answer then the next question was molecules are made up of atoms okay then the next question was clay is separated from water by which method four options were there sedimentation gravity separation both one and two and none of these so answer option one is correct that is sedimentation then a pure liquid is obtained from a solution by evaporation distillation filtration crystallization you know that by distillation we get the pure liquid so option 2 is the correct answer then the next question was in chromatography the filter paper is in which phase mobile phase or a stationary phase or both 1 and 2 or none of these so it is in the stationary phase answer 2 option 2 is correct then the next question was the solid particles which remains on the filter paper is known as residue whereas the clear liquid which will be obtained in the beaker that will be known as filtrate so option 2 is the correct answer here then the next question was it is a process in which slow evaporation of a solution containing more of the solid component is done then that process is crystallization okay what is the chemical name of blue vitriol hydrated copper sulfate hydrated ferrous sulfate both one and two and none of these so it uh, its answer is hydrated copper sulfate whereas hydrated ferrous sulfate is known as green vitriol then solid carbon dioxide is also known as ice cold ice sublimable dry ice none of these so its answer is sublimable dry ice now next question was chemical name of h2o2 so chemical name of h2o2 is hydrogen peroxide then next question was particles of sawdust moves on the surface of water show which characteristic of particles of matter so it is showing the random motion of the particles because these sawdust particles will be shown uh, drifting away from each other so which motion uh, which property of the matter is shown over here that is the random motion of the particles then the next question was when a few marbles are put in a glass half filled with water what will happen the level of water will increase okay because marbles will occupy their own space and that will displace the water so that is why the level of water will increase then the next question is mass is the weight quantity of matter changes from place to place none of these so mass is what constant so it is the quantity of matter option 2 is correct all kinds of matter is made up of atoms it is said by it is said by dalton 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेन शुगर इज एडेड टू अ ग्लास हाफ फिल्ड विथ वाटर वाटर लेवल ऑफ वाटर डज नॉट चेंज वॉट मे बी द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस स्टेटमेंट द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस स्टेटमेंट इज द इंटर मोलिकुलर स्पेस बिकॉज द शुगर मॉलिक्यूल्स विल गेट स्पेस इन द इंटर मोलिकुलर स्पेस ऑफ द वॉटर सो दैट इज वाई देर विल बी नो राइज इन द लेवल ऑफ वॉटर सो ऑप्शन टू इज करेक्ट then the next question was identify the process by which sugar and water is separated so sugar and water is separated please think over here sugar is also separated water is also separated okay it means the sugar should also be obtained water should also be obtained so that is why answer 4 option 4 is correct by distillation we get both the components after the separation the next question was boiled water becomes tasteless due to air present in it air is not present in it neither one nor two uncertain option 2 is correct that air is not present in it because as you boil the water the dissolved air will get evaporated then the next question a simple device used to separate the components of liquid liquid heterogeneous mixture and liquid liquid heterogeneous mixture is the immiscible liquids like oil and water so what is used which device is used that is separating funnel so option 3 is the correct answer compounds are always pure homogeneous both 1 and 2 and neither 1 and 2 so option 3 is correct because compounds is pure as well as compounds are homogeneous now the next question if a body weighs 16 newton on moon then what will be its weight on earth okay so answer 2 option 2 is correct whatever would be the mass on the moon the six times of the mass, uh, weight uh, sorry whatever would be the weight of a body on the moon six times of its weight will be on the earth so 16 into 6 equals to 96 so option 2 is correct then If the mass of the body is five kg, acceleration due to gravity is nine point eight meter per second square. Then calculate its weight. The formula of weight is mass into acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so mass is five into nine point eight. So it will come forty nine newton. The substance which can flow, that is, solid and liquid. liquid and gas okay so first of all you have to identify that which can flow liquid and gas can flow and why they can flow because there is the weak intermolecular force of attraction so option 2 is the correct answer next question that the main metal present in hemoglobin and chlorophyll so the main metal present in hemoglobin is iron and in chlorophyll it is magnesium so option 3 and option 4 is also there so you have to correspond it in hemoglobin there is iron and in chlorophyll there is magnesium okay so that is why option 3 is correct option 4 because magnesium is not present in hemoglobin and iron is not present in chlorophyll so just to test yourself correspondingly you have to choose the correct answer then the element present in cane sugar are carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen carbon hydrogen oxygen phosphorus carbon hydrogen oxygen sulfur carbon hydrogen and oxygen so option 4 is correct that is carbon hydrogen and oxygen then the elements present in silica are si and o that is option 3 is correct identify the organic compound you know the organic compound is obtained from the living world or they are basically composed of carbon hydrogen and oxygen so sugar and vinegar are the organic compounds so that is why first option is the correct option then the elements present in washing soda answer of it is sodium carbon oxygen and hydrogen okay then method of separation for liquid gas homogeneous mixture 
सो लिक्विड गैस होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर इज सेपरेटेड बाय बॉइलिंग लाइक वाटर व्हेन यू बॉइल वाटर वॉट एवर गैस डिजोल्व इन वाटर गेट्स इवेपरेटेड सो गैस इज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द लिक्विड देन लास्ट क्वेश्चन देर इज मैचिंग गिवेन ओवर हियर यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट पेयर क्रीम एंड मिल्क बाई सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन शाफ एंड ग्रेन बाई हैंड पिकिंग अमोनियम क्लोराइड एंड सैंड बाई सब्लिमेशन आयरन एंड सल्फर बाई ग्रेविटी सेपरेशन यू सी हियर ए इज द करेक्ट पेयर एंड सी इज द करेक्ट पेयर सो लेट्स सी द ऑप्शन ए बी ए सी ए डी बी डी सो ऑप्शन टू दैट इज ए एंड सी सो दिस इज ऑल फॉर टूडे सो फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द फर्स्ट टर्म पोर्शन I hope you must have performed well in your exams. Thank you everyone.